guys, how are you all today? It is the beginning of another month. So here we are with my monthly favorites. And if you remember from January's favorites, I had four or five things on my favorites list in that month. Um, so February wasn't as uh, great of a month for discovering a ton of really new things. So instead of them being new things, my favorites this month are kind of just um, really good resource type of stuff that I have been using a lot in this month. So let's jump right in. Um, the first thing, actually a bunch of you commented about this in um, one of my recent videos. It must have been the one where I was, maybe it was February Makes when I was talking about making that McCall's jacket, the quilted one, and how I kept running out of thread. And a lot of you said, well, just order it from Waywack. You get a ton more um, thread and it's usually cheaper. And you guys were totally right. Um, all this time I have had a Guterman thread card, um, which is just this really huge folder type of thing that has all of their colors of thread um, and you can match it up to your fabric and then order by the color number. Um, so I did that for a bunch of the new fabrics that I got um, for things that I made this month and it was really great. And you do, you get a ton of thread. But the thing that I liked the most about ordering from Waywack is that they have two different kinds of, well, they have lots of kinds of Guterman thread. They have um, the polyester and the silk and the top stitching and all that. But within the polyester thread segment, they had two kinds. One for like normal to heavyweight fabrics and then one for lightweight fabrics. And I thought that that was really, really interesting. When I got it here, I actually compared a regular thread, that Guterman thread that I get at Joann's, to the lighter weight one. And you can tell there's like a huge difference. I want to say the lighter weight one almost looked like half the size of the regular thread. So that was something that I didn't know existed before, the lighter weight thread. Um, and it's obviously perfect for like silks and boils and rayons and um, chalets and all that kind of stuff that everybody will start sewing here if they haven't already um, in the next couple months for spring and stuff. So the Guterman lightweight thread via Waywack where it's like two dollars and some change um is the way to go you get like a ton of thread way more than you get whenever you go to joann's and the shipping is like lightning fast um for me my joann's is like 30 minutes away so a lot of, it's not convenient for me to go there a lot so it um being able to order online actually gets the thread here faster than when I try and schedule it out and go out there um, when it's not convenient. You know, sometimes I have to wait for the weekend, but if it's like Monday and I order from Waywack, then it's here on Wednesday and that's sooner than it would have been for me to get out to Joann's anyways. Does that make sense? So yeah, so that's, that is my first favorite. Um, and I'll link the specific kind of thread that I'm talking about, the lighter weight one. Um, they don't have as many colors in the lightweight one as they do in the regular one. Um, but there's all the basics and there's still a lot of other colors too. And then I'll also link the thread card. Um, I posted a picture of it on Instagram and a lot of people hadn't heard of it or didn't know that that existed. So I'll put that in the description box down below too, so that you can grab a thread card. Um, it makes it really easy to match fabrics too, I think. The second thing I'm hoping and praying is still at Joann's. I went there um, last weekend, so at this point, maybe 10 days ago, and they had these calendars at the register, and they were marked down 75% off. So I got this bad boy for $2.50, and these calendars are really nothing new. If you have a Chick-fil-A near you, Chick-fil-A's been doing calendars like this for years, where it's a regular calendar, but each month has a coupon that you can use. So if you go to Joanne and you buy a lot of fabric or interfacing or anything that gets your purchase price up to um, $60 or $50 is the minimum, I think. Yeah, $50 is the minimum. Um, if you spend that kind of money whenever you go to Joanne's, and this is the total 
purchase price after all your coupons. So you can use the 60% off coupon with this. You can buy um, clearance fabric and discounted patterns and things like that. And after all your coupons and all your sales, and everything's accounted for, if your total price reaches these minimums, then you get money off. So like for January, for example, why is this easier to find? Why is January on the bottom left corner of the back? That makes no, <laughs> no sense whatsoever. Okay, so in January, it's already passed, but um, you were able to get $20 off your $60 purchase, which is pretty good. Um, February is $30 off of your $75 purchase. Um, and then here coming up in March, it's $10 off your $30 purchase. I mean, I'll spend $30 on one project between the fabric and all of the notions that you need. Um, if you're going to buy like a, um, if you're going to buy like a expensive item, like, um, like maybe a dress form or rotary cutters and mats and things like that that are expensive. This is a great way to save money on that because again, it includes regular and sale priced items and it's also after all your coupons are applied. So the coupon, I mean the calendar is really great to save money, but it also has projects for each month uh, and really beautifully done pictures I think but January's is a winter's day throw and you can go to joanne.com slash jan project and learn how to make this um, so I think that's really neat for people that are not just into sewing but into all kinds of crafting projects um, they have like I think these are like wood like wood arrows which are really cute and then March has letters and birdhouses, which are totally like in style right now for home decor. Um, and I guess they're using paper and paint and all kinds of embellishments, but you can learn how to make these projects. And then the idea is that you would go there and you would buy the stuff you need for the project and then you get to save money off of that. But you don't have to buy what the project is. You can buy anything you want in the store and still save. So I hope, 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 hope these are still in your Joann's stores. Go there, ask someone, go to the register. Like I said, mine was 75% off because it's already almost March um, and they have to get rid of them. And ask them if they have these. Originally, they're only $10, which is still not a huge investment to make. If you know that you go to Joann's and you spend um, high dollar amounts whenever you go there. Um, but I hope also that if they are out of them, they'll do them for 2018. Um, but I have mine. And so I'll be using, using this throughout the year. But I think it's a really cool idea. And like I said, it's really well done. Um, the quality of the calendar is really good if you're looking for like an actual calendar. So the Joanne 2017 Project Calendar and Coupon Book is my number two favorite for this month. My third thing is actually maybe something that I've already talked about in a favorites video before but it's sort of as a follow-up to my tutorial on continuous bias tape um, I posted that along with my stash builder project for this month um, so a lot of you again a lot of great feedback from you guys in the comments a lot of you again had hadn't heard of that um, process before for making so much um, bias binding in really only sewing one seam. Um, it's a great little trick and I love, love, love doing it. Um, the second part of that, if I were to continue on with the tutorial, would be actually, you know, pressing the bias tape into either a single fold or a double fold bias tape, whatever you need for your project. And what I use to help me do that is this bias tape maker. And they have these in various sizes. This is a half inch one, which is what I use most often, but they go smaller than that and they go much higher than that too. Um, so basically you feed your fabric through the end of this and when it comes out the other side, it's folded into single fold bias tape. And then if you wanna make double fold, you press all the singles in there and then you fold it in half again and then you have double fold bias tape. So it's really easy to put your fabric in, comes out the other side and you just slowly like move this along and move your iron along this way and it makes the bias tape um, really quickly and easily and you don't burn your fingers which is <laughs> really important and um, and yeah so this is like 
part two of making really easy bias tape in my opinion. So I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know about this, the ones that were commenting on the continuous bias tape tutorial and let y'all know that this is also a really, really great tool if you don't have it already. So maybe possibly my shortest uh, favorites video ever, but that's okay because I think that the things that were mentioned today were really great and helpful and I hope that you did too. Um, if you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe so you never miss an upload. I will see y'all soon. Bye.